Uh, okay, so logging and type ORM. So logging is very important thing. Usually in any important application, you will log every single thing that happened to the database, uh, every transaction, every query, everything. Okay, so and usually people do it in like as soon as anything happened, they will just put it inside a database with some metadata about that query. So when anything bad happens, you can know uh, what happened in that time at, and what are the queries that have been run on that database, on that table. So it's, it's very useful. And TypeRM, out of the box, they provide a couple of things. So if you pass to the connection object, logging it through, it will just dump everything to the standard output, which will, co will console log everything. Uh, and if you pass logging to true, it will log the errors and the queries. I can I can just quickly show you that. So here is I am I am in the app.ts and here is my logging uh, property. So logging true inside the connection object. So run that you will see everything will be logged here. That everything will be logged here. Um, yeah, but it's not that useful. So they provide a couple of more options. You should read this. It's really easy. Uh, I won't just explain it. I won't waste your time. But uh, this one is really important. The long, uh, the log long running queries. So you can put a time, and if a query execution passed that time, it will be logged. But remember that everything and all of the types of the logging for the queries. So you have these. So query error schema. This is for the schema creation. These are, are all the queries. These are the errors, the warnings, the info, and these are the internal or in messages. So all of these, and even this one, using the st the way that they uh, use it here, use the logging here. So just pass logging through. All of these types would be logged to the same place, which is your console. You can change that. Uh, if you read here, so one of the options is the uh, file, and also there's the advanced and simple console. This one is just um, will put everything to your console, but with uh, some more colors, so we can test this. So pass logger uh, advanced console. I think now everything will be just uh, more have more colors. I think. I think in my terminal it does not change that much but I mean that's an option and the simple console uh, just the, the same as the advanced but without uh, colors and they are using this library so chalk it's uh, very nice very cool and it's very famous as you can see uh, and the file one which is very interesting so put here file it will create a file called uh, rm.logs uh, in your root of your application and that will have everything so if you add it logging and pass all like this this will uh, now log everything by default it will only log the queries and the errors like I said but if you pass uh, logging all it will log everything and with the file option so we should see here the rm.log so it, it will have everything we done so and everything will be just dumped into a single place it's good for small applications I mean very small applications uh, it's good as you can see our, we did not do that much and we have so many log files or lines in the log file so this is nice if you have really small application maybe I think this will be very practical if you have uh, a phone application with built-in database and you are using TypeRM this would be good so each maybe each month you will get the logs from the user and do something with that. Uh, so temporarily just save it in the user. But anyway, in the user device. Uh, in my case, I will just use a custom logger because in a real world application you will just save every type of logs into a specific place. So each one of them will be saved into a specific table, maybe in the database. But in my case, I will save each kind into a specific log file just to give you an example so yeah let's just start and here is the documentation for the section I'm going to provide an example for it so 
I will create a folder called logger in the root and inside of it I will have this custom logger to TypeScript which is empty for now and first thing I'll make things fast I don't want to waste your time you can just look at the code there is a link in the description so I will import the logger and the query interface query runner interfaces from TypeRM and I will import uh, sorry before that I did not told you the package I'm using for the logging so I won't just use anything from uh, anything that I wrote I will just use Winston uh, I will put a link in the description for it so it's very nice and it's very famous so so let me show you how you can install it so open just your terminal npm install uh, Winston like this and after you do that so npm install uh, add types then Winston dash D so this is the type so you can import it uh, in a correct way in TypeScript okay so after you do that you need to import um, a couple of things from Winston package so first thing is the create logger function and then the logger interface but as you can see now we have two logger interfaces or two logger tokens in, our, in the same file and uh, this is not good in TypeScript so you can rename things using the as keyword like this so I will call it as Winston logger we will use the transport um, function and the format object from uh, Winston so we can start so I will create a class called uh, custom logger and that implements the logger interface from type RM and as you can see VS code is complaining I think in any IDE and even in a text editor like VS Code, you can just hover over this and go to Quick Fix and implement interface. See, these are the methods that we need to implement. Uh, but uh, you won't type it, so these are the methods. You can pause the video or you can just go to the repo and see the functions. So this will be faster. So before I start uh, logging everything, uh, as you can see, this is for logging the query. This is the errors. This is the slow uh, queries, the building schema, the migrations, and the log. And if you look at the docs, these are the same things as they described here and here. Right. So these are the functions for uh, these type of error, type of logs. So yeah. First thing, I will create uh, three properties. They are all private and read only, like this. So the query logger. So this is for each type. I will create its own logger. The query logger is will will just log the queries in, into a specific file. The schema will only log the schema creation uh, process into a specific file. And the rest of things, uh, it's, it will be repetitive for me just to keep uh, showing you each one so I'll just provide two examples maybe you can expand this and for, for in Winston logger you need to provide a format so I'll, I will save this inside this property and this type is format uh, comes from a library called logform uh, which is you can import it like this but I don't recommend that because this package exists in your node modules as you can see when I hover over it but it does it's not included here in our package.json you can include it and import it and reference that type here but this package uh, have been installed in your node modules because Winston logger depends on it and it's not a good idea to do this to import a package that is not in your package.json and actually our VS code won't uh, recommend won't even give us uh, auto completion for that so you can see it but uh, I will just put it here so you can know where the types come from for this property or for the format object in Winston but for now I'll make it, I'll make it in any you can maybe install it in your application or just install the types and reference that but yes it's not that relevant so you can just put any but if you keep putting any everywhere what's the point from TypeScript right uh, yeah anyway so first thing is to custom format and this is if you look at the RM logs you see this in Winston you will I think they are using Winston behind the scenes but uh, 
this this is the format tells how the how Winston should um, put each each value we pass to it when we look the data and how we how how Winston should um, format it. Okay, so what should it be the first line, the first uh, thing? What's the second thing? What's the so this kind of um, things? It's just basically the format for each line. Okay, <laughs> we're making things more complicated. So uh, from the format object. I will just use the print f function, and this accepts a callback. Should return a string. So when you use so this dot query logger dot log, so when you pass an ob you will pass uh, an object here, and this object will be passed to uh, print f. So I will destruct the things I will pass. So I will pass message. I will pass a uh, level. I will pass a label. Pass also a timestamp. Okay, and I will return a backstick string. This is the key next to your one key key on your keyboard. So first thing, I will put the timestamp. Maybe you maybe you use a moment just to create a good time uh, time format. But yeah, and now I will use brackets. I will put the label. Then after the brackets, I will put the level. Then I will put the message. Okay, now I will create an options to our loggers. We have two, and they are shared, sharing most of the properties. So I will create a function that accepts a file name, string, and just returns an object. So you can return an object using the uh, implicit, uh, sorry, explicit return like this. So put the a parenthesis which uh, confess the block of code to expression and return a uh, object so transports would be equal to new transports dot file pass object to that so the file name is this one so you don't need to repeat it and the level debug and pass the format object would be equal to this dot custom format Maybe I don't need to put this as as a property, but yeah. And now we are almost done. So this to the query logger be equal to create logger, pass the options and give it the file name. So query log. I won't put it any path. I won't give it any path. So it will put it uh, in the root. So next to the RM logs. And also this dot schema logger will be equal create logger options uh, pass schema dot log which is the name of the log file I will have for this okay so I won't spend more time on the Winston you can read about it you can use uh, maybe the docs I'm pretty sure that YouTube have uh, many videos about it pretty sure you know it but yeah so First thing inside our log query, all the queries that ORM will run will be passed to this function. So this dot query logger dot log, and I will pass an object with the same properties I destruct from here. So the level will be debug, and the message will be the query dash. The parameters if they are exist, so sometimes they don't. So stringify the parameters. So they are an array, as you can see, array of any array of strings by the way, but uh, yeah. So JSON to stringify and just convert that array to, into a string. So if that exists, do this. So if that exists, do it, else just put an empty string. Uh, now that the timestamp would be would be dead but now and the label would be query um, this is nice and you can do in the log schema builder as well so this dot schema logger uh, dot log and pass an object so the level is a debug and the message is the message that they provide for us 
and the timestamp will be equal to date of now and the label will be equal to uh, schema so this is nice let me just run it so you can see it i will give you more um, information about this class so hopefully no errors i hope and yeah it's a little bit slow so nothing happened yes there is a reason because i did not import this inside our connection line so let me convert and let me create an index to typescript and export from the custom logger our custom logger and now our app ts just import that so import from uh, logger our custom logger right and here you can just pass a new custom logger like this so it was just pass an instance from your logger now um, it should work so you should see here two files pop up and they are by the way like uh, very gray because they are added inside our dot get ignore so you have here anything that ends with logs this is generated uh, by this website you can take a look at it okay so here is our all of the queries that have been run so as you can see um, these select or I want something with uh, with parameters yeah so for example this insert we created all of these queries in previous videos and these are the query params or the parameters as an array this is the json to stringify so this is nice all the queries are here which is cool um, you can uh, go with this to the next level maybe uh, the queries that have select put them in a specific file the queries that have insert into a specific file so you can um, it, of course there is uh, a way for a uh, room for improvement in this but yeah this is all the schema creation so creating a new table and this is nice Th this is how they uh, I think this is shows shows us how nest how type rm creates the entities and in which order which is nice so they create them and after they create them they put the foreign keys which is smart so i think some libraries will throw an arrow sometimes if you create because you need to handle uh how they the order of creation and they did that for us which is nice uh, yeah so this is basically how you can create a custom loader but i will show you something for, uh, for each one of them the query something called the query learner which uh, might be exist and this is basically uh oh, penguin just attacked my window anyway so the query runner uh, basically holds your connection so this is your connection and from your connection you can get any repository so get repository past the user entity you can so basically you can use anything this is basically uh an instance from your connection oh sorry i think this is an instance from type or i'm i'm not quite sure there is a documentation for it uh this one i would put a link in the description maybe you can read about it but it's very useful you can access your database you can use any function uh, as i said from the connection you can get your repository uh, which is nice so it might you might want to do some things and uh, using the database so you don't need to put some you don't need to pass the connection here in the constructor like here you can just use the query on our object so i think that's the basics uh, of course this is not a complete uh, a functional logger but yeah at least it's a starting point hopefully that was helpful in any way